Well, hello. Welcome to the next installment of cooking. Hello, fresh. Today we are going to do a pork and veggie bimbap. Yeah, I don't know how to say it, but it looks very good. All right, so we have already cooked the rice, and that is one step ahead to making this a lot shorter video than, you know, what I've made before, which was about 48 something minutes. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just break into the bare necessities then. Look at that, a very supportive husband. Thank you very much. All right, inside of our Hello Fresh box, we have uh, uh, scallions, right, right, right? Soy sauce, sesame oil, garlic. Looks like a zucchini, a carrot, white wine vinegar. Another carrot. Oh my gosh, okay. And ginger. And these really, really cute sriracha packets. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so. First, we're going to wash our veggies. That was the magic of television. And we are done washing veggies. Okay. We're gonna take out our scallions. And we're going to trim off the bottom portion just a little bit. There. And just a little bit of this sort of dead vegetation at the very top. And we're going to dice these nice and thin. And we're going to save the whites. And then we're gonna save the greens in a separate pile. So you can see it ombres up into a different color. So this is gonna be our whites, and here is gonna be our greens. And we're gonna separate those, and those are just gonna be little bits and pieces that's going to be on top of the dish once it has been cooked. Can you hear the pitter-patter of my doggies? Right on cue. Yep. Okay. Let's give these a little. A little once over. Okay. All right, so we've got all that. Here, we're gonna take the dog out to the garage. These are our doggies. This is Garage Dog Faith, and then this is Indoor Faith Buffy, and our cat. Uh, no, okay. come on, come on, outside. All right. Messing up my videos. I'm back. Okay. So after we do that, we're going to very dangerously use this guy and peel our carrots. Okay. 
So that's the outside, that goes away. And we're gonna save. We're just gonna do this over and over and over again until we have a whole bunch of carrot strings. I'm dancing like I don't give a care if I lose my finger. Okay. I don't often peel carrots, but when I do, I fell tremendously. Look, look, there's still a lot of carrot left. Okay. Let's go to the second one. Let's try you. Okay, let's peel off all of the outsides and then keep the insides maybe it's supposed to be a treat maybe it's like hey you're trying to eat healthy here's the inside of a carrot as a treat I'll go with it Beautiful ribbons. Should I even, do I even dare to try and dream of cutting this? You know, this is probably more snack for me. They're like, oh, you, you need some calories. Here, eat some carrots. It'll be good for whenever you can see the bone in your finger after you've sliced off half of an inch of Flesh. Ah. Okay. Okay. My next step is to take care of this zucchini. And this zucchini, we are going to. Oh. Just thin, thinly chop it. We can do that. Move out of the way, I don't want to cut you twice. Is this loud cooking ASMR? So I think this is going to be a complete mise en place, which means prepared, separated, and measured out food ingredients. Nope. Wait. It wants me to peel and grate this little guy off. Is that even possible? I don't even have room on my, on my doodly flopper for the garlic. We're just gonna thinly slice the garlic. Oh man, that smells so good. You guys, wish you could smell it. I like beets and spicy stuff. Garlic is very It's like the drunk Asian friend that comes over and only wants to do shots of wasabi and palate cleansers of garlic, right? Okay, so we've got some garlic. What else do we have? What else? I'm sorry. Here's the garlic. What are we supposed to do with you? Mince it. Oh. Absolutely. I should have gotten myself a bigger cutting board. All right. We 
slice the garlic nice and thin on one side, lengthwise, and nice ribbons. And then we go back into it and cut it. And that will be minced garlic. And it brings out a lot of subtle flavors if you do it like this. For some reason, it comes out nice and mellow. Now, if you were to throw a, a whole garlic clove into something and really not do anything with it, can you believe that it actually would taste like five times the amount? You would think by chopping it up, you'd get all of this flavor, but you don't. Okay. Mise en place. So we're gonna heat oil in a pan and add the carrots and salt and pepper for four minutes and then remove the pan. All right, setting change. Okay, so we've got our pan, medium high heat. We have our oil which is what we're going to use in just a moment. We're gonna move our prepared items over. And we're gonna clean up this area over here only because I'm adulting. tell if your pan is hot. Can you touch it? Okay. All right. Salt. Oh, thank you for stopping by and watching. We are making Grayson version of Asian food, some sort of pork and veggie bimbo. Hello. Okay, so once our oil is nice and warm, yeah, not warm yet, we're gonna throw in the carrots. We're gonna let that cook for four minutes. Remove from the pan and then add the zucchini and let it cook for about four to five minutes and set it aside. So I've got a prepared pan over here. This is where all of the zucchini and carrots and prepared foods are going to go after I have moved them over. Okay. Because everything in the HelloFresh kit has... Step, 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 step. And if you're not completing them in a timely manner, get out of the kitchen. So it is worth reading the instructions several, several, several times. So we're gonna let the carrots cook for about four minutes. Center this little puppy up. Four minutes. This is the ground pork that they sent me in the cryovac. So we will dig into that in just a little bit after we have done our veggies. Now, it does say in a small bowl to combine the white scallions which we've already separated over here. You know, because, uh, let's see, the vinegar, right here. And this is sort of gonna make a fake pickling. So, 
and a pinch of salt in that. We're gonna stir it up and we're gonna set it to the side and let it pickle. I'm back. Did you miss me? Okay. Stirring my carrots. Two minutes left on these little buds. Okay. In another bowl, we're going to mix sesame oil, the soy sauce, and just a little bit of sriracha, and water, and sugar. Water, giant bag of sugar, mm -hmm. okay, two pinches of that. One package of sriracha. How cute is this? This is so daggum cute. Half of the soy sauce, it said. Okay. Set that to the side. And all of the sesame oil. And we're going to let that marinate. Mary. So, we've made a sauce, and let's see what this is going to be used for, because, you know, i got to read the instructions, so we're going to stir some more. Oh, it just gets drizzled on top of the entire thing after it's done. Fools. Okay. So, I am actually very confident that... I am at the step of carrots in which they're done. And we're going to move on to the zucchini. So we have moved that over into the finished veggie pile. And now we're going to start on the zucchinis. And the whole reason why we're doing all of these steps is because we should have all we should be doing the rice. But I already made the rice. So that way we could skip about 15 minutes of preparation. So I wouldn't have to be worried about it. I love jasmine rice. Yeah. All right. Let me make sure every guy, one of these guys, is in a single file line, lining the bowl or the pan. Pepper, 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 pepper. Salt, 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 salt. Ooh, ooh, ooh.
Okay, all right. We are going to, oh yeah, give these guys a little flip. These are looking really good. They're starting to brown on the edges. So we're gonna single file these mugs again. Get the browning on the other side. For another minute and 30 seconds. After that, we're gonna take these out and move them to the cooked pile of veggies. Then we're gonna add the meat, the garlic, and the grated uh, horseradish. What is it called? Did I lose my mind already? <sighs> Ginger. Ginger is what I was saying. Uh, okay, so the plan that I chose was four meals, and they get delivered on Wednesdays. So I have something to make on Saturdays and Sundays. So it'd be tonight, probably Saturday and Sunday, and then I would have another meal to play with on like Friday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, something like that. Um, it's about um, $65 or so, plus shipping and handling is what gets you on it just a little bit because it's like a 30 pound box. So it adds up to be a little under $80, which is great because I'm not going out and spending money on zucchini that I'm not going to use or extra supplies of rosemary that I'm only going to use just a little bit of. They send me everything in a pre-portioned package, which is amazing. So, my zucchini is toasty. And I'm going to move this over into the done vegetable pile with the carrots. All right. Now, we're gonna do the ginger, the garlic. Fragmatic, like, arrow, um, what is it called? Aromatics. And we're gonna add the pork to it. pork. We're gonna let this cook for a little while until everything browns. And then, so we're gonna set that for about four minutes of stirring. But we're gonna add soy sauce and salt and pepper to this meat process. So here is the soy sauce. The salt and pepper, so we don't forget, we're gonna set that to the side.
Okay. Gosh, so loud. I can't even think while it's like screaming at me. Poor pig had to die for me. Okay. So we're getting a nice brown color on our pork. It's breaking apart nice. And awesomeness. I am a huge fan of making sure that we drain grease. <laughs> so we're going to drain the grease. Okay, so Angie, I have no idea because it seems to be an Asian meal. I just don't know exactly what that word is. So maybe it is Korean. All right, so I've drained away its fat. And I'm going to add in the soy sauce. The salt and the pepper. And we're gonna let the liquids evaporate. And chop up a little bit more of these chunks. We are literally so close to being done that this is crazy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plate it. Let's turn this guy off and let it finish out what it's doing right now, okay? So we've got our, okay, we've got our rice. Okay. And we've got our veggies that we've set to the side that are a beautiful color. Okay. So we're gonna add in some of these guys, okay, the zucchini, my carrots, okay, then this guy, we've got our finished pork. Mm -hmm. We are going to garnish with the scallions and the sauce that we made. Let's see if I can get those. Carrots. And that is my Hello Fresh for the night. It is pork. Jasmine rice, scallions, zucchinis, carrots, and a homemade sauce. So, let's go ahead. Let's dig into this scalding hot meal and see what it tastes like. Then knock any mas. Okay, that's gonna be really, that's so good. Mm. Yeah. And Hopefully, there's going to be just a little bit more. Oh, well, Angie, I am. You know, I'm gonna. I'm gonna kill this off camera because eating. Mm, 
in front of you is probably tempting. So, let me tell you what. I have three HelloFresh cards that have codes on them for an entire week. A free week. So, if you want to try HelloFresh, not sponsored, this is not a paid anything. I'm doing this because I really like to cook. I really like to try new foods, and this is really simple, easy, amazing, great food. If you want one of these three cards, comment down below, and I will give you the free code personally, and you can enjoy awesome foods. Taylor has already snatched up one of the cards. I had four. And she snatched up one of them. And she has already ordered that day that she got the free code. And I hope you enjoy it because I do. It's amazing. It's fresh, simple, easy. <laughs> so thank you again for watching. And catch me in a couple more days when I cook more fresh hello food that is amazing. Hello fresh food. Yeah. Okay. Mwah.